reluctant to do these favors towards you, Cesario. You are like to be much advanced. They have known you about three days, and already are no stranger. You either fear his humor or my negligence. That you call in question the continuance of his love. Is he in constant, sir, in his favors? No, believe me. I thank you. You saw Cesario home? On your attendance, my lord, here. Valentine, stand you a while, Luke. Cesario? Thou knowest no less but all. I am unclassed to thee the book even of my secret soul. Therefore, good youth, I trust thy gate unto her. Be not denied access. Stand at her door and tell them, There thy fixed foot shall grow, till thou have audience. Sir, my noble lord, if she be so abandoned to her sorrow as it is spoke, she never will admit me. Be clamorous and leap all civil bounds rather than make unprofited return. Say, I do speak with her, my lord. What then? Oh, then unfold the passion of my love. Surprise her with discourse of my dear faith. It shall become thee well to act my woes. She will attend it better in thy youth than in Anuncio's more grave aspect. I think not so, my lord. Dear lad, believe it. For they shall yet belie thy happy years to say, Thou art a man. Diana's lip is not more smooth and rubious. Thy small pipe is as a maiden's organ, shrill and sound, and all is semblative of a woman's part. I know thy constellation is right apt for this affair. Valentine, attend him if you will, for I am best when least in company. Prosper well in this, and thou shalt live as freely as thy lord to call his fortunes thine. I'll do my best, will your lady? Yet, far from strength, whether I will myself be his wife. 